Hey, I'm Carlos from Low Island. Thanks so much for watching Music News. Carlos from Low Island. Great to meet you. Lovely to meet Superb you. Superb show here at South by Southwest, the Thank British you. Music Embassy. How does it feel? Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty chaotic. <laughs> but um, it was it was good. The energy was high. Fantastic. We had a great we had we had a great show. Yeah, yeah, certainly did. Got the whole crowd going. Um, is that you know is that what you live for? The live experience. Definitely, yeah. I think um, I think the live show is the it's one of the last things left that feels very real. And when you're in the music industry, like it's person to person. So much of what you do now is remote and emails. Even like sometimes. I don't know, we don't do this, but people like record remotely, write remotely yeah, and yeah, do it yeah. on Zoom or whatever. So, you know, the live show is the kind of the last thing left where you can really just communicate direct with an audience. So it's, it's, true, it's yeah, probably yeah. the best part of being in a band. When it goes well, when it goes badly, it's the worst part of being in a band. Sure, man. <laughs> sure, they hardly ever happens to you. But the, um, yeah, so the, the recording wise then, when you're in the studio, you've got your own studio then, you know? We have a, a studio would be generous. It's like a garage that we've uh, put all of our stuff in and we keep everything in. Um, and yeah, we, we managed to kind of turn it into a space where we can pretty much do everything to a, to a certain standard. And if we need to go and do more complicated things, we'll go to a studio. But, you know, it's a, I don't know, it's nice to have the flexibility of having your own space and not, you know, having to shell out for studios all the Absolutely, time. Absolutely, a little base. That yeah. Makes you, what, how often do you in there? As much as we can be, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, are, what is next on the release schedule? That's a really good question. We need to write a third record, really. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We're writing another album um, and just kind of getting stuck in with as much of that as we can. It's pretty early days now. We've been playing a lot. We've been touring in the UK. We've been playing here. We've got more shows when we go back to the UK. So, you know, it'll take a while, but we're starting you know, the, the cogs are, whatever, the, what's the expression? The, the wheels are in motion, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, any, any theme or sort of ideas, musical direction? I, all I'll say is that we want to explore sounding more live um, as on record. You know, I think the band plays very differently live and um, I'd love to capture some of that energy on record. I don't think we've done that yet. So something that feels more um, live, like four guys in a room playing, capturing a moment, I think is something that I want to explore on this record. As far as the lyrics are concerned, it's, it's too early for me to too early for me to comment on that. <laughs> How would you sum up your, your musical style? Oh gosh, um, I guess we grew up listening to. We grew up playing in bands, but we also grew up DJing. Felix, um, the drummer, did a lot of work in uh, jazz and improvised music. So I guess our band is a way of trying to kind of bring all those things together under one roof. Um, I don't like, I know, you know, like I, we didn't never wanted it just to be one thing. So what I like about the live show now is it takes you on this journey through, you know, I guess you know, starting with more electronic stuff, then maybe it would be a bit more pop, and then it gets a bit more heavy at the end. And I like the idea that a band can take you on that journey rather than just kind of pressing one button all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so how the hell is that sort of process work? Uh, at the moment, you know, there's a kind of couple of routes. There's one is me just kind of coming up with a little sketch at the piano or the guitar, or just, you know, at my computer. and then I take it to the guys and we fill it in together and work on it together. But then also, it could also be that Jamie or Felix um, send me like a, just like a short little thing, like a short little loop, I start writing some words and then we'll jam it. Having said that, this time around I would, you know, we want to do more stuff in the room. So like, you know, coming together and actually developing ideas as a live band, which we haven't done for a while, it's often been kind of working on different layers and multi-tracking and stuff. And I'd like the next record to be more you know, like I keep saying, like, you know, four guys in a room playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because that's very unique to bands. You know, not every artist is able to just actually play all together at once. And I think that's very exciting to me that bands can still capture a moment all together in a room. I think Dan Kerry 
who produces, you know, Fontaine's and he did the Wet Leg album stuff. He's so good at capturing moments. I think, you know, I'd like our next record to feel a bit like that. When did you first sort of think, you know, realise that music was, you know, what you wanted to sort of carry through? I was um, 11 years old and I was at my friend's house and he put on Woodstock. It's a bit of a cliche, but that's, I remember watching, uh, is it Richie Havens at the, the, the first performance, I think, on the DVD, playing Freedom? And I was like, this is, <laughs> this, this'll do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do as a like. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank is you, there, you Marco. somebody that hasn't quite got into Love Island yet, what three songs would you say, check these out, they sort of sum us up as a band? Okay. Um, don't Let the Light In. Um, then uh, Robin off the new album. And then maybe, what do you stand for? Is something a bit more heavy. Excellent. Thanks for your time. Anything else to say to music news watchers out there? Uh, not off the top of my head. <laughs> Just thanks for having me on the on your station, uh, on your what is it? A magazine? Magazine. I'm not a magazine. It's a magazine. Thanks for having me on the magazine and um, come to a show. Thanks so much. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers, Marco.